so very good evening to you all hope you are doing well uh, welcome back uh, to a fresh session in my mastering endocrine and diabetes lecture series uh, today we are going to talk about the european board examination in endocrinology diabetes and metabolism uh, which has just opened its registration uh, today and uh, today's session we'll look at how and where to apply what is the exam pattern what is the exam fees and we look at the uh, curriculum which this exam is expected to cover and the resources which would be helpful for you all to prepare for the exams so let's start right away so registration is uh, now open for the european board exam in endocrinology diabetes and metabolism uh, the registration open on 16th of august which is wednesday and the last date for registration will be 27th of september 2023 the examination this year will be conducted on the 8th of november and most importantly it will be conducted online through remote invigilation i'll explain to you what do you mean by remote invigilation where you can do it at the comfort of your home uh, without needing to actually go to a physical center uh, but i'll be explaining you more in detail about this in the subsequent slide so basically uh the registration period is now open and this time uh, ese has collaborated with the uh, specialist board of the european union uh, and the national endocrine societies across europe to ensure this is a true european examination and this is an internationally recognized qualification in endocrinology that can support your career progression passing this exam is a fantastic way to gain recognition of your clinical expertise and ensure that your resume or the cv stands out so a bit of overview about what is remote invigilation all the written examinations are delivered by remote invigilation instead of at physical examination center so remote invigilation means that instead of traveling to a physical examination center you will sit the examination online in a quiet secure place of your choose i mean it can be your home it can be an internet cafe but you should make sure that you do the exam on your own computer either at home or at work so that's i mean try to be at your home or at work but where we have a continuous internet connection candidates are supervised remotely by invigilators throughout the examination you will need to adhere to the following requirements to sit the exam by remote invigilation you should make sure that there is a quiet secure environment so the best place will be a home a room where candidate can take the exam without interruption a pc or a laptop computer is essential with reliable internet connection webcam there should be a webcam as well equally important so the pc should have a camera and there should be a microphone the device must have permissions and be enabled to install any software which is the remote invigilation app multiple screens headphones and earbuds are not permitted this is very important prove your identity with a driving license passport or a public service card it's best to keep your passport that would be the most important id scrap or rough paper is not permitted if you do need to uh jot down something at the time of uh, calculating something in during the exam a virtual notepad will be available for use during the exam the candidate's mobile phone must be within reach in the room where sitting the exam the phone is for registration and technical support purposes only and should not be used to take the exam so the exam should be taken on a pc or a laptop computer and not via the mobile phone the exam fees will be 750 euros and um, in some case scenarios where somebody is a european society member uh, and eligible for grant then in that case uh, uh, grants are available for which you can check the website for more details again the uh, it's important to note you know the exam pattern is basically two papers uh, each of 100 questions so it's very similar to the specialty certificate exams in terms of the a uh, question of the exams and the pattern of the exam so the most important thing is when you do the registration that you will not be asked to pay the exam fees on the initial application you will be contacted after the closing date which is 27 september 2023 with a link to complete the exam payment fee so when you do the registration now in the registration period uh, once you finish submitting your application you will not be paying anything at the moment but once the application period closes which is 27 september 2023 then your link will be sent out to you when you do the payment and of course if there is a grant which is considered in your case scenario then a discounted payment link will also be sent 
Now, uh, before we go on to the curriculum on which the exam will be based, uh, I will just um, try to show you all some of the steps to do the registration. So I will stop the share at this time and I will share with you the screen of the website. So we just try to go to the website screen. Okay, I think now you can see the website screen. So this is the website you which you need to go, which is the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. So it is www.rcpi.ie and you should click on the sign in, okay? So I have already made an account just to show you all, but if you are new to the page, then you should create an account by filling some general details like your name, uh, affiliation, and you'll be able to create a user ID and password for yourself. Now, uh, once you do that, uh, you will get an automatic email uh, about the confirmation for the registration for the website. And now, after you do that, then you should log in and then go for the registration of the exams. So, I'm just going to enter my password now. I've already made an account for the website, not yet for the exam. So, now I'll show you the steps for the exam. So, here you can see my name. Your name will appear here on the right-hand corner. Then you just go to quick links and there is examination. Go down, scroll down to the examination. You can see the membership examinations out here. And then go to the European Board Examination in Endocrinology and Diabetes and Metabolism and click on it. Once you click on that, so you can see more details about the uh, certification, about the European Board exam mentioning about the exam date and everything. And then you click on exam application. Once you click on exam application, again, it shows you the application period and stuff and stuff. So if you scroll down in this page, it also mentions about the grant, who's eligible for grant and everything. And if you click on this European EBE DM 8 November, then you'll be able to go onto the application page. Okay, so here it will show your bookings. Click continue under heading new or current. Now I had just started with the booking, so it's showing to me current booking. In your case scenario, it will show you new booking. When you do that, just select and start entering the details. So I'll just did the initial first step. So when I am going to my next step, I'll be seeing and my name being entered there and then my email ID and date of birth and stuff. And then you can click next. So there are very simple steps. Then you can enter your address and you can move forward. And then this is the most important page where you'll enter your uh, details, like your qualification, full name of the qualification, level of classification, so on. Once you finish all the steps, then you will get the confirmation to your email about registration for the exam. So it's very easy. And again, the payment is only after the closing of the registration date. So I'm stopping the sharing screen now and we'll go back to our presentation. All right. So now we'll talk about the curriculum on which the uh, exam will be based on. So it, this is the European Society of Endocrinology recommended curriculum for specialization in diabetes, endocrine and metabolism. So let's talk about a bit about the topics which are expected to be covered for the exam. Uh, as you can see, it's a broad category. I mentioned about diabetes here, and it co covers all the important aspects related to diabetes, which are expected to be covered in the curriculum for the examination. So this itself gives you a brief overview of what all topics you should definitely look at when we talk about diabetes. Let's move forward.
Then there is a topic regarding complications of diabetes, again, extremely important. Insulin pump, again, very, very important. Concepts about CGM, flash glucose monitoring, and of course, the DDLA guidelines for the diabetes. Then we have about lipid disorders. Uh, again, exam favorites, uh, especially genetic lipid disorders. Then we are talking about obesity and bariatric endocrinology. So much in the uh, field of obesity nowadays, definitely we will be asked in detail about the medical approaches ongoing for the management of obesity. Uh, in terms of pituitary, again, a wide spectrum covering all the important aspects and the topics uh, which will be commonly uh, encountered as questions in the examination. Even for thyroid, all the common topics, graves, hypothyroidism, thyroid emergency, thyroiditis, thyroid neoplasms, carcinoma, non-thyroid illness syndrome, thyroid hormone resistance for that matter. All the aspects of parathyroidism, which is primary, hyperparathyroidism, secondary, tertiary, hypoparathyroidism, vitamin D deficiency, osteoporosis, the other bone and mineral disorders, adrenal, all the coverage for the uh, liddles, uh, Gittelmans, uh, Edison's, uh, incidentalomas, hyperplasias, carcinomas, uh, almost all the spectrum, as you can see, as you all have studied for the specialty certificate exam, or those who have appeared for the specialty certificate exam. Again, different electrolytes and fluid imbalance, neuroendocrine tumors, inherited endocrine syndromes, endocrine disrupting chemicals, the point inhibitors, and about the diagnostic techniques in endocrinology. Now, uh, more details of the resources which you need to study uh, for the specialty exam as well as the European Board exam have already been discussed by me in my uh, lecture. And this is a free view lecture on my YouTube. Uh, I'm sure you must have heard this. If not, you can check this uh, lecture out. I will leave a link in the uh, session. Uh, this is the top resources which you need to study for the specialty exam as well as the European Board exam. It's a must listen to lecture to know the details about the guidelines, about the books which we need to study for the European board exam as well as for the specialty exam. And uh, as I have been mentioning that uh, I have a detailed lecture series, which is now almost 63 lectures, uh, which is available uh, for a one-time subscription fee, which will give you lifetime access to all my existing 63 lectures, plus all my upcoming lectures. I'll show you which are my upcoming lectures. And of course, they're extremely useful for exam preparation for specialty exams, for European board exam, as well as for the DM endocrinology and the endocrinology board exams. Uh, for subscribing for it, please, you can directly message me on my WhatsApp number, which is 00971557434794. The same number of Telegram, or you can email me on mazirules at gmail.com. A bit about my lecture series. I have diabetes, almost 17 lectures uh, covering all the aspects which are very important for exam. And the nine videos on high yield topics for SC. This covers the high yield questions and topics for thyroid, adrenal. There is quick revision for exams. Uh, there is also recalls of the previous exams. There is detailed sessions on thyroid, almost uh, six videos on thyroid. Adrenal, we have another six videos on my lecture series. We have lab endocrinology, especially for those interested to give the DNB and the DM endocrinology. Pituitary, we have almost seven videos covering images as well. We have inherited endocrine syndromes and immune checkpoint inhibitors lecture as well. Uh, we have around uh, a good number of sessions, around six sessions on reproductive endocrinology, calcium and bone metabolism, lipids and hyperlipidemia, and pediatric endocrinology. And this is a quick overview of my upcoming lectures. I'll be soon releasing the recall of the 2023 SC exam. In fact, the first part is coming up uh, maybe by tomorrow. Then I'll be doing one session on the top images, which are commonly asked for specialty exam, European board exam, and other uh, board exams, and also be useful in clinical practice. We'll be doing a detailed session on diabetic foot ulcer and charcoal foot, a various areas for favorite topic for the exams. We'll do a session on Turner syndrome, endocrine emergencies, men to diabetic neuropathy, uh, and uh, we'll do a case-based approach to endocrine disorders in pregnancy. And many, many topics uh, will be coming through uh, in the coming weeks and months leading up to the next exams. So I wish you all the best. And I'd just like to say that uh, never doubt your abilities for a moment in life. And I wish you a very good luck for your upcoming exams. Uh, I wish you all the best for the European Board exam coming up in November. And keep shining always. I wish you all the best. Thank you.